Hey, what's up guys? I'm gonna compare these wireless earbuds to each other in various categories starting with comfort, whether they stay in your ear, sound quality, call quality, controls, the charging case, the battery life, and I'm gonna pick an overall winner. Now we have the AirPods third generation, the AirPod Pros, the Galaxy Buds Pro, the Galaxy Buds 2, the Pixel Buds second generation, and the Klipsch T5 II. For my testing environment, I use the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra, I use the Pixel 6 Pro, and I also use the iPhone 13 Pro Max. So connecting using three phones, it was a bit easier to switch between them to try to hear the sound quality a bit sooner so I could tell a better difference really between them because some of these were actually pretty close to each other in terms of sound quality. Now I use the 10 point scaling system, 10 being the best and one being the worst. These have a comfort level of 10 if you ask me and the reason for that is because they really don't stay in your ear as easily. So comfort quality very high because you barely notice they're there but they also fall off very, very easily with just about any movement. These fell off the absolute most when I was using these. In terms of comfort for the AirPod Pros, we have a nine out of 10. So also very, very comfortable, but these do a much better job of staying in your ear because of these silicones that really just kind of plug into your ear. It also gives you a better quality sound because it almost kind of seals the sound in and they do come with various sizes out of the box. Moving on to the Galaxy Buds Pro, these are also very comfortable and if you kind of twist this a bit, this part stays, uh, pretty much stays locked in to your ear. So these are also very comfortable and stay in your ear. And these are essentially the same as the Galaxy Buds Pro because they're pretty much almost identical in size. And yes, these also come with different silicone grip sizes. These stay in your ear the best. And it's because of this tip that it really just stays very secure. I really like the fact that they put this because this makes a huge difference in terms of staying in your ear. However, it's a, a bit less comfortable, still comfortable, but a bit less comfortable than these four that I mentioned earlier. And we have the Klipsch T5 II, which is not the most comfortable in terms of comfort, but it, it does stay in your ear because this one actually comes with six different silicone sizes. So very customizable and it also creates an amazing seal because this one I feel like goes into your ear canal the most. However, because it goes in so much, it's a bit less comfortable when you're wearing it for a long time. All right, moving to sound quality, we're going to start with the AirPod Pros and I have three different categories. So I have bass, I have mids and highs, and I have loudness. So in terms of bass, it got a 7 out of 10, decent bass, actually pretty good bass. And if you push this into your ear for it to create a better seal, it actually sounds a lot better. However, because Unless you're gonna hold your fingers there, it does get a bit loose. Again, it barely stays in your ear. So bass was a seven out of 10. Mids and highs were great with the nine out of 10 and loudness was also fairly loud with a nine out of 10. The AirPod Pro is pretty much the king in terms of all of these. Uh, compared to the rest of them, it gets a base of nine out of 10. So very good base. That's because of the seal it forms. Mids and highs were a 10 out of 10 and loudness was pretty much a 10 out of 10 because it was almost uncomfortably loud. A level down from the AirPods or more than a level down. For base, we have a six out of 10. So definitely lacking in the base department. Mids and highs were decent with an eight out of 10 and loudness was also decent with the eight out of 10. Moving to the Galaxy Buds 2, these are essentially one level below in each category versus the Galaxy Buds Pro, so the worst in the base from all of these. Mids and highs were decent with a 7 out of 10 and loudness was the lowest from all of these with a 7 out of 10. These got a solid 8 in base, mids and highs, and loudness. So in all three categories, these were fairly good. Now the Klipsch is a special case because each earbud has its own Bluetooth connection. For some people that might be good, for me, that was bad. And when I was getting these, I assumed that you could connect them as one and maybe that is possible, but from all the, all the ways I tried it, it was very difficult to do. 
So I essentially did a workaround. I connected these to the Samsung. And what the Samsung lets you do is it lets you play on two different Bluetooths at the same time. So it has this dual audio feature. So when you connect it to the Samsung, you can actually listen to it. However, when you're talking on the phone, you can only talk on one at a time from what I saw. Now, because of this, I'm still gonna grade it as I grade the rest of these be because of the Samsung playing on both of them at the same time. Again, because don't really think of these as a pair, they're more of a separate and separate. So we got a base of eight out of 10 because of the great seal, so pretty good base. Lacking in the mids and highs with a seven out of 10 and the loudness is an eight out of 10. Call quality with the AirPods, third generation was a nine out of 10, very clear. The AirPod Pros were a 10 out of 10 because it also has this boost mode, but pretty much in any condition, the AirPod Pros excelled in call quality. The Galaxy Buds Pro and the, sec and the Galaxy Buds 2 were also pretty good in terms of call quality. I, both, I gave them both an eight out of 10, so very similar to each other. The Pixel Buds was a nine out of 10, slightly better than these essentially equal to the AirPods third generation. And the Klipsch got a five out of 10. The reason why I got a five out of 10 is because I was only able to use one of the two during the call. So again, that could be that I didn't pair it correctly, but I tried a whole bunch of stuff. I looked at some instructions online. I did a whole bunch of stuff. And no matter what I did, I couldn't get one to pair to the other and I tried a few of the sequences where I hit this five times and hit this five times. I reset them. I connected them to the Samsung. I tried them on the Pixel. I tried a whole bunch of stuff, but essentially if it's possible, it's difficult to do and Klipsch doesn't really lay this out. I mean, in their defense, they do lay out that they are can be individually programmed, but I look at that as more of a headache than a feature. I just thought it would be easy to pair them to each other very quickly, but not great in that department. Moving to controls, I gave the AirPods third generation an eight out of 10 because you could play pause, you can skip, and you can go back by essentially firmly pressing this once to play pause or twice to skip or three times to go back. You can also say, hey Siri, and that would come up. The AirPod Pros get a nine out of 10 because it has all, all of that same functionality. However, it also, you can switch between active noise cancellation and transparency mode because it has those features where the AirPods do not. But because the AirPods third generation and this one, you actually have to hold, you have to use two fingers to do it, otherwise they will fall off. Moving to the Galaxy Buds Pro, I gave this a seven out of 10 for controls because it has the play pause. If you uh, tap once, if you tap twice, it skips. If you tap three times, it goes back, but it doesn't have the Google Assistant built in. Granted, if you're close enough to the phone, you could say those magic words and the phone will detect it and then it'll do what you want. Moving to the Galaxy Buds 2, when I was testing this, only the play pause was working. The skip and the go back were not working. So I'm assuming it doesn't have that feature. And again, just like the Pro, you can't say Google Assistant isn't built in, but if you're close enough to the phone, if you say those magic words, it will listen to you. The Pixel Buds get a perfect 10 out of 10 for controls. Because again, you only need one finger to use. You can also change the volume by just swiping where it's non-existent in all the other earbuds here. You can play, you can skip, you can go back, and the Google Assistant is built in, and it it's just amazing in terms of controls. So it gets a perfect 10 out of 10. And the Klipsch also gets a six out of 10, so a low score because you can only play pause. However, if you tap it twice, big speed does come up with the Samsung Galaxy S21 but I didn't see a skip or a go back option. In terms of wireless charging case, I use a third party charging. This one charges, the AirPod Pros charge, the Galaxy Buds are a bit slow to charge, but this one also charges, the Galaxy Buds 2 also charges. It, these two are a bit slow to charge, so you have to leave it there for a few seconds and then they'll pick it up and start charging. Like you could see, well you can't see that now, but 
you could see it like this. The pixel buds instantly charge just like these three and the clips doesn't support wireless charging. So this is just a USB-C. But in terms of case from all of these, they all look nice, but I think clips just looks the coolest and because it look, it feels like it's metal, it, I'm pretty sure it is metal, it just looks cool in terms of the case itself. Getting to battery life with the earbuds and the charging case, the AirPods are the best at 36 hours, followed by the clips at 32 hours, with the AirPods Pro at 28 and a half hours, followed by the Galaxy Buds Pro at 28 hours, followed by the Pixel Buds at 24 hours, with last place at 20 hours for the Galaxy Buds 2. However, in practice, all of these are fine because I feel like I need to charge my phone more often than I need to charge these. So if I'm listening to these for a few hours, all the earbuds can last for a few hours and they're fine in terms of my personal use case. And in terms of noise cancellation, the AirPod Pros win there with active noise cancellation where essentially when you have these on, you almost can't hear your environment around you. So very, very good there. The Galaxy Buds Pro also do a decent job. The Galaxy Buds 2 have this noise canceling feature, but it doesn't work as great. It's more of a passive thing from what I could tell, very similar to the Pixel Buds, which is really just noise reduction rather than noise canceling. So these have noise canceling, but it doesn't quite work as well. So from all of these, the AirPod Pros do the best job of active noise cancellation. So you almost can't hear your environment with these on. Now to rank them all based on the point system, I would say the overall winner are the AirPod Pros because of their superior sound quality, their comfort, the call quality, the battery life, the wireless capability, overall, amazing earbuds. In second place are the Pixel Buds second generation. Very good, but not quite as good as the AirPods. However, in terms of controls, this one does have better controls and it does do a better job of staying in your ears. In third place, based on the scoring system, are the AirPods third generation because it's not too far behind from these. Really the only issue with this is it doesn't really stay in your ear. And in fourth place, we have the Galaxy Buds Pro, which is pretty much well-rounded. However, it is lacking in the sound quality department. And tied in last place are the Galaxy Buds 2 and the Klipsch T5 II because while the Klipsch does offer better sound quality than the Galaxy Buds, because it is a two separate system and it was a bit complicated to set up and not quite as comfortable, it's in last place. So this is based off the point system. But if I had to re-rank everything based on which one I would reach for, I would do this. I would say that the AirPod Pro stay in first place, the Pixel Buds stay in second place, the Galaxy Buds Pro move to third place, the Galaxy Buds 2 move to fourth place, the AirPods third generation move into fifth place, and the Klipsch T5 II move into sixth place. And the reason for that is because these are the best, hands down. Very comfortable, very good sound quality. Pixel Buds, a close second. The reason why I moved the AirPods third generation down is because it really just doesn't stay in your ear. So this thing falls off so many times, it's almost ridiculous and it almost takes the point away of having earbuds because the whole time I'm kind of pushing them into my ear and if I'm doing anything other than walking, even when I'm walking, I have to constantly push them in and I'm constantly worried these are falling out. If you don't have an Apple device, I would pick this as your winner. If you do have an Apple device, I would pick this as the winner. Let me know what you guys think in the comment sections below. How would you rank these? Do you guys have other earbuds that do better than any one of these? Let me know in the comment sections. As always, smash that subscribe button and I'll catch you guys in the next one.